Let's get into prop culture. Going around once again, the world of the Super Bowl, picking some of the most interesting props that we've been seeing on the board, and we're going to decide which way we're going. And we also got my guy Alex Glaze locked in once again. Alex, you ready for these props or what? I'm ready to get to it. The Super Bowl is all about props. More about the props in the game for me personally. Right. Got to build that bankroll this week to get the Super Bowl bets <laughs> yeah. on Sunday, right? Okay. So the first one, overtime. Are we going to overtime in Super Bowl 56? Monaco. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> There's only been one overtime. And it was the 28-3 comeback mm -hmm. with, of course, the Patriots and Falcons. How about this? 19 Super Bowls decided by one score, one overtime. I mean... As an odds guy, as betting guys, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm out on that. I'm, I'm, I'm swiping left. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with you, Alex, and say no. I, I don't think so. I think this game is going to uh, be out of hand towards the end of the game. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You think it, you, you, the, the Rams big like yeah, that? Yeah, they're gonna right? handle their business. They're gonna handle their business. Yeah, yeah, I agree with the fellas. I'm gonna go no as well. You heard uh, Ed Lowe talk about the people covering the spread in the Super Bowl. Games are easily, are usually a pretty wide margin in some of these games from, for, for the majority of the Super Bowl era. So, no, I'll go no on, on overtime. What you thinking, Alex? I'm going no as well for all the reasons that you all already said. The thing that has me kind of nervous, though, when I was looking up the stats, though, about, you know, has there been an overtime in the Super Bowl? At 28-3, to three, what does this Bengals team do? All they do is come back. So yeah. if there was a time where I could see an overtime, this Bengals team might be the team to do it, but I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, sign me up for an overtime. I, mean, I would yeah. love to watch an overtime. That would, but, be, that would be a fitting end to this postseason, yeah. right? I mean, I'm squad riding with y'all. I'm going to say no. I think the offenses are too good to finish in regulation. But if the Bengals are down in the fourth quarter, we might all be eating our words. But it's yeah. all good. All right. That's why they're prop bets. They're fun to make. All right, next. Shortest touchdown scored. The over and under is one and a half yards. Which way are you going, Monica? I'm, I'm in on this. I think, I think it's going to be over. How about this? For the last five Super Bowls, there's been a inside the one, inside the two rather, touchdown. So just statistically speaking, we know how important the game of inches is. Just ask Russell Wilson down there at the two or the one. I'm going to go over. So you think the shortest touchdown is going to be over yeah, one and a half over. yards? Yeah, over. Okay. Yeah. I think it's going to be over as well. You know, when you get down to that one-yard line, you think about the trenches. You know, the, the Bengals have a very good defensive line. They're, they're big, they're physical, especially in the middle of that defensive line. And we know what the Rams do. So I think, you know, it's, it's going to have to be from a little bit further out, mm -hmm. a fade route possibly, or, or, you know, a nice little screen pass or a quarterback scramble. Yeah, I'm going to go over one and a half as well. I think the offense is polished enough where they can, they're, they're going to get inside the red zone and be able to call a play that they like to get in the end zone. It does get a little spooky with the pass interference, though. Yeah, Long right. Ball I'm telling you. Right. Next thing you know, ball's on the one, but I do like over one and a half. All right, Mr. Glaze, what you thinking? Okay, so McGravitt's going to say no, but I, Sean just convinced me. I think I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. It's going to be uh, under that, uh, that one and a half. Listen. The Rams have scored inside the one-yard line two playoff games this season. Like Sean said, there could be that pass interference call, too. So I'm going to go with, uh, with under one and a half. All right. Um, I'm, I'm rolling with you, Mr. Glaze. I'm going to say under just for what you said, Sean. It could be a pass interference, yeah. uh, a, t uh, a catch to the one-yard line, and then my Matthew Stafford anytime touchdown goes in or yeah. whatever. And the Bengals might do it, too. You know, Joe Mixon hasn't done any work like that yet. So who knows? 